as soon as you release the conflict, you uncover layers of joy coming up. You become, your, your inner child starts coming up or showing itself. All right. Okay, any other person that likes to share something that had brought unacceptableness? Maybe there are some areas that we'd like to talk about. Then I'll touch base on the four, four agreement as well and give some practical exercises as well. Shanti, do you, did you have anything in mind that had ca had labeled unacceptable? Are you able to open your um, microphone, Shanti? <laughs> Last time you couldn't. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Faribod, do you have something in your mind that it was unacceptable that you like to share? That yours now is less unacceptable? Well, there are st stuff in my mind, but it exp it's hard to explain them. Uh, do your best. We'll, we don't judge. <laughs> right. um, on ex one of the unexpected... Un um, unacceptable. What was that again? Unacceptable is like when uh, you have expectation from others, like others have a lot of expectation from you. Right. And then without you know, understanding you that and they don't know your situation, so they will have a lot of expectation and they want a lot of stuff from you, but you cannot fulfill their wishes and then, then they will become like sad or become mm -hmm. not happy with you. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent, excellent uh, example. Yes, that... Thank you. Yes, that mm -hmm. is not from my expectation, but also you have to kind of witness that all oh, these things are not acceptable for others and you're you're in the middle, basically. You're, you're blamed for it that you've done something unacceptable. That's a very good point. Excellent. Yeah. And then uh, it's, it's good to understand and learn how to deal with that as well. Um, everybody has, in certain level, everybody has certain expectations. So without, with, without judging, I can tell every one of you in this group now expecting something something good from this meeting <laughs> something delicious something that you know opens the new possibilities if it was something that not met your expectation you might say oh, you know I didn't get anything out of it or blah blah so that's there's expectation here. In all levels, we have a little bit of expectation or a lot of expectation. And I understand that maybe a few years ago, uh, that would have brought me some stress. Like, oh, I have to meet people's expectation. Back in 1991, 2000, we had meditation nights. That was Wednesday nights. The meditations were done. We we closed the curtains in my... I had a store, a health food store. We closed the curtains. We had the chairs sitting down and people would come in. And, and uh, it was... Um, I didn't know back then. I would just use the uh, heart link. Just do the heart link, sit down, and a lot of people would get it. For me, it was a new thing too. I just learned it and I was doing it. And some people didn't get it. I had this lady that came to me and she was a, a long meditator. She was in India meditating. She was in Japan and it was just... And she came to me and said, this meditation is incredible. I didn't know why it was incredible. Okay. She said, oh yeah, this, this was good. She was from, she is still alive. She was part of the Waldorf, um, Rudolf Steiner's uh, and um, 
Rosa Christian, quite a uh, high level of meditation. So this is Rosa Christian stuff. This is that when you connect to your angels, your higher self, this is the most incredible. And I didn't know <laughs> what she's talking about. But, um, and meanwhile, there were some people that they didn't get it. They would question and they didn't get it. But I was trying to meet everybody's expectation. And then I realized and not everybody is the same. So it's, it's pointless to wanting to meet everybody's expectation. The, within your family, within your colleagues, within your society, every person has a little bit of expectation. Some people are this much expectation. Some people are this much expectation. Some people's expectations is quite unreasonable. Like, just, they don't even have the, the right to expect something, and they do expect. So, consider that in doing that. All you do that's based on the first, the first, um, is that the first one or the last one? The last, the last agreement. There's four four agreement. Number one says, always speak the truth. Use the word word of mouth in direction of truth and love. Never gossip about anything, and never speak bad about yourself or others. That's a huge rule. Okay. Second one says, don't take anything personally, which we talked about it, which directly goes to the expectation, uh, acceptableness. Okay. Don't take anything personally. Why? Who can tell me why? Don't take anything personally. Yeah, go ahead, Robert. Um, to me, because it leads to suffering. Right. It's we we learn that huh. after a while. Yeah. Right. Needless suffering. It's called needless suffering. Excellent. And the third one is don't make any assumptions. Find the courage to ask question and to clearly express what you really want. Be clearly that clear. First, you say, I get this. Is this what I got? This is what you mean? And you express what you really want. That's the third one. And the fourth one is do your best at any situation. Your best could be different. When you're sick, as opposed to you're healthy, your, your best is different. Your result is different. At any situation, do your best. So you avoid regret and self-blame. So when you do your best and you announce, like, I am doing my best to your boss, to your colleagues, to your family members, your spouse, then you don't self-blame um, yourself or don't have any regret. You're just allowing people to complain and you say, the, re <laughs> the response to them is, I get what you're saying, I accept what you're saying, you are expecting this. You just give them back their sentence. This is a little technique. So you, I get what you're saying, I, ex I accept what you're saying, you're saying this. As soon as they hear that you got their expectation, they leave you alone. It works. It works really good. As soon as they hear that you have, but if they sense that you're fighting and you're, you're, um, you somehow you you're resisting to get what they say, it's um, it's going to be a battle all the time. Just announce back that you got that they have an expectation. That's it. That's simple. Say it, even if you have said it a few times, that's fine. Say it 10 times, 100 times, that's fine. Yeah, sister, I, 
I get that you expect me to do that. Um, I get it. I accept your your request. Mm. Yeah, that's it. And thank you for letting me know. Something like that. Simple one. Don't drag it. Don't make it a story of it. But it always works. So not taking anything personally also is it's somehow that you kind of remind yourself if something come come and hit you that it was annoying you keep you know quietly you just said to yourself oh, i'm not taking this personally may yeah. i ask a question sure sure it's open uh i know we're not supposed to take it personally but it's being person being people and we're 